An ugly incident on a United Airlines domestic flight inside the United States um, gets filmed and goes viral on the net. <coughs> when it's assumed uh, that the victim of this situation is Chinese, Chinese investors en masse dump United Airlines stocks. Um, the uh, share price of United Airlines stocks drops 4% lots of money. Um, the following day, it's discovered that the <laughs> victim was Vietnamese. The Vietnamese had originally been, or I shouldn't say the Vietnamese, but some Vietnamese people had originally been sort of chuckling with a bit of, I don't know, smugness over the fact that one of our ancient enemy, the Chinese, uh, got roughed up and humiliated. Ha 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 ha. Then it comes out that the person is actually Vietnamese and everyone's up in arms. <clears throat> now, that can, you can analyze this in a million different ways. One of my favorites is to show just how much of a delusion and how insane it is, um, you know, the, the whole idea of nationalism. Um, when it happens to them, it's funny. When it happens to us, oh my God, this is the biggest sin you could imagine. I demand justice for this man, and I demand justice for Vietnamese people worldwide, etc., etc. I'm not trying to smear Vietnamese people here or Chinese people. It's you know, I'm sure the numbers are very low, um, and hyper reality has to be applied to this analysis as well. But you know, it's a good example of how hyper reality works, right? Um, what we think happened has real uh, real consequences. And when things change in a, almost a double-think kind of way, we're capable of completely changing our opinion on it. I like the idea of hyper-reality and all of this because hyper-reality kind of makes you look at the matrix or the net or whatever, all the media. Through both ends of the microscope, you have to watch what's happening, but then you have to watch what the reaction is to what is happening or what people believe is happening. And then you almost have to look at your own reaction to it. Um, you have to examine the examiners, then you have to examine yourself for examining the examiners to figure out what is actually happening. Um, it's just an interesting little illustration, and, and ultimately it doesn't, the, the, the fact that it's almost a non-issue, a guy got roughed up and he's probably rich now, <laughs> thanks to the U.S. legal system where if you are a victim of anything, you can sue everybody for everything they've got. Um, so, you know, in the end, at the end of the day, this guy's going to walk away a rich hero, a martyr almost. But look at the reaction of the rest of the world, me included. You know, it's the... the are, we, are we looking for reasons to panic or to, to get angry or to get riled up about the injustice of everything? Um, and what exactly is happening now? in post-modernity that we might not even be realizing.